Good afternoon. It is uh, January 19th, exactly two months till I step off on the Appalachian Trail from the Amicola Falls heading northbound. So I'm going to give you a review uh, of all my kit. And here you see everything. Do, 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 do. So here is my uh, big four. The uh, Z-Pax Arc Light Backpack. And you see I have the two waist belt pouches as well as the two shoulder strap pouches. Army green, so the Russians won't see me. Here is my tent. It is the Z-Pax again. Solplex. Uh, poles and pegs are in here. Although you can use the uh, trekking poles as well. And here is my Z-Pax. Uh, sleeping bag and it's the lightest one they make down filled uh, I will tell you on the uh, when I make the video what the, what the real weight is and what the temperature goes down to this is the sea to summit uh, ultralight uh, uh, sleeping pad and it also the uh, I bought the uh, this is the for filling it a uh, little pump that also is handy dandy because it uh, fits inside the the bag Another addition to my uh, sleeping bag, my sleep system here. So I have my sleeping bag, but because I'm starting on the uh, March the 19th, I think it might be a little bit cool, and I'm also worried about going through the sm Smokies. So this is a Sea to Summit Thermalite Reactor Fleece Liner, which should up my uh, my capacity for the temperature for my sleeping bag. And also, this is a bit excessive. This this is uh, weighs two pounds, and it is a Gore-Tex uh, bivy bag. So that would also up my temperature uh, capacity, and it would also make my, uh, if in case it rains in, I mean, I mean I'm in my tent, but it, it would uh, increase my uh, less chance of getting wet. But I think that might be excessive, so I'm hoping not to bring this, and we'll just go with these two items. And this I can send home once uh, I get out of the Smokies. Here is my uh, Z-Pax uh, clothing bag, and I just wanted to show you what it looks like clothing before bag I take contents. it. contents. You see the uh, fleece outside of the clothing bag, so you stuff uh, your puffy jacket in there and whatnot, and you can make a pillow. Long johns, <laughs> being from Canada, uh, this is something I think about. <laughs> uh, these are North Face uh, shorts with a liner inside, uh, extra power of uh, darn tough socks. My Marmot Down uh, Puffy Jacket. This is an Arteryx Long Sleeve Shirt, uh, Merino Wool. This is uh, Possum Down Gloves. These are outers for the gloves. Uh, it turns them into rain mitts. These are, this is my uh, Z-Pax Rain Kilt. This is a, a toque that we call it in Canada. Though down there, I guess you'd call it a beanie. Uh, this is my uh, rain jacket. It is once again z packs and everything else and so is this. This is a z packs rain shirt. So there you have my clothes. Excellent. Here you see my uh, camp kitchen. And I'll go through each item individually. Okay, very important. This is my luxury item. Go Army. This is uh, one of them thermos mugs so I could use this for hot drinks. Uh, keep water cold. Uh, also, it uh, I can rehydrate food in it. It's a little bit heavy, but hey, it's my luxury item. The Sea to Summit Spork fits nicely down in there, also in those uh, dehydrated food pouches. Uh, the bag for my uh, titanium pot, uh, the lid for that, the uh, cover for the, uh, this is a pocket rocket, the fuel for the pocket rocket. I've gone redundant here with uh, fire lighting. I got matches and a lighter. Uh, okay, well, well here's my, my tools. This is a Swiss card and it's got all kinds of fancy things like a uh, nail file, pick a little pen, etc. Plus, most important, there's my knife and my scissors for clipping my nails, etc. There's my pack towel. Uh, okay, water. I've got a smart water bottle. This is for filling the dirty water and it's cute. It's a Coke bottle, says saddle up. Uh, I'm going with the Sawyer Mini Filter, which is not getting rave reviews, but I'm going to go do my best to not let it freeze and not let it get too clogged. Let's we'll see how that goes. Uh, here's my bear, ba bear bag, food bag, and the, the, the cord for that, Sea to Summit 
and uh, hopefully that'll uh, serve okay you now up. let's do the electronics so let's give you an overview of everything I got here and go back and do it in detail okay all this stuff goes in the plastic bag this is a, a, a battery will do two charges for a phone this will do one charge this is my uh, GoPro charger and it's a high-speed one and it's got two outlets one for the GoPro accessories and one for uh, other things here's the uh, GoPro remote that's the charger for the remote here's the GoPro specific cable this is the phone cable and other things here's my uh, Joby tripod my Joby connector for the uh, phone Joby uh, tripod connector for the GoPro uh, this is a, a bag for the for this stuff which will go on my outside of my pack I love this this is a Petzl uh, headlamp and it's got a rechargeable battery which you charge with a normal phone cable here's my Diddy bag which other than the uh, tripod stuff all my electronics and my miscellaneous which I'll show you later other things going. that would go in the Diddy bag here you can see all the electronics in, in the uh, ziplock uh, okay very important papers with some uh, some wipes as well run I burn my toilet paper when I do my my business it's uh, it's therapeutic I find uh, here is my uh, I'm gonna try shaving uh, on the trail I don't want to grow a beard uh, deodorant because I smell bad the uh, toothpaste this is my first aid kit and repair kit I've got a, a tick remover in there some bandages uh, some uh, the uh, repair tape for all my uh, CPAX kit <laughs> matches again I'm just terrified of not having fire uh, sewing kit uh, this is my wallet basically I've got uh, my driver's license a credit card a debit card my medical card and my passport uh, pen and then I have a, a flag when I feel national and then uh, my uh, Z seat and that basically here are up. the uh, clothes I'm wearing so uh, we have here my trekking poles these are uh, North Face uh, hiking pants uh, underwear just normal underwear I find them very comfortable this is a, a merino uh, shirt uh, that, that being wool and being black I think it might be overkill for when it gets hot so I might switch that off with a, a lighter color and probably a capoline shirt darn tough socks which also match the color of my sandals I'm hiking in sandals these are Tiva uh, oh I can't remember the name I'll post it and uh, notice the socks match the the, the um, the sandals so I don't look like a complete geek uh, but these are great sandals because you, 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 it protects the toe and they're, they're quick drying they're very comfortable there's hardly any stress points I never got touch wood a blister in them that you can see a bit of wear here because I've, I've been wearing these since uh, ooh, I got these in May and I hiked about 800 miles last year so I, I will have to get new pairs there's a a, a new a, a a two version of these which I think they cover up the holes so almost they don't become sandals anymore but anyway uh, here's my cap and uh, a buff so there you have it. That, that's what I'm big wearing and of course I switch off you know a hot day I put my shorts on at the usual you know you add layers as for weather and uh, temperature I love it when a plan all comes together